In this video, I'm going to attempt to survive a 90,000 subscriber Q&A. No, I'm just kidding. I asked you guys on my community tab to submit some questions for a Q&A video. I have picked a lot of questions for this video specifically, and there is a lot to get through. So let's jump straight into the questions. From when did you start playing Minecraft and what are your goals in real life? Because you have mentioned that you studied at university. I've probably been playing Minecraft since 2012, I think, and goals for real life. Uh, currently at the moment, I'm doing uh, sports rehabilitation, and then I'm going to be doing a physio masters at university so that's what i'm doing currently alongside doing youtube um so goals i'd love to work for a professional football team uh, being able to help all the athletes and stuff i think that would be a really cool goal so yeah what are your plans for your youtube journey and when did you first start your youtube channel i mean my overall goal was to hit a hundred thousand subscribers that was just my lifetime goal it's just something that i thought was like so out of reach so and because that seems to be very close around the corner now which i'm so thankful for um, I really don't know where to go from there. I'm probably just going to keep going the way I'm going. Like, you guys seem to enjoy what I'm doing. So, I'm going to keep continuing to do what I'm doing, if that makes sense. So, uh, when I first started my YouTube channel, this channel was created in 2014. But I have had previous channels. My first ever YouTube channel was a graphics design speed art uh, channel, which was very, very popular when YouTube started back in 2008. So, I have been around on the platform making videos for a very long time. Will you be continuing your hardcore world? By the way, love your builds. And are you willing to play one block? I have great expectations from you. I definitely will be continuing my hardcore world for definite. It just depends on, you know, if I die or whatever. And in terms of playing one block, I might give that a go at some time in the future, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I just don't feel like I would be... Uh, able to get through that as much as I am to get through a hardcore world. So I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. How did you start YouTube? I literally just started by recording my screen, recording me design stuff in Photoshop. That was one of the first videos I ever did uh, back in 2008. And basically, uh, I've just been learning from other people along the way. I've been watching a load of people, uh, you know, in different games and stuff. So I, I bounced back and forth between a load of different games in my time. But how I started, it was literally just starting to record, starting to edit and putting everything into practice and trying to teach myself things I've never taught myself before. Why do you think that your 100 days did so well? Also, I love your vids. Appreciate that, man. Um, maybe because it was a long video. I mean, YouTube tends to favor videos that are around 20 to 30 minutes these days because of watch time and stuff. And because I put a lot of effort in that video, like even my 200 days, a ton of effort went into it. Like if you guys understood the process behind making those videos, I think you would understand like the grind it takes to make them videos as good as they are. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's probably part of the reason why it did so well. Favorite Doritos flavor and what inspired you to do YouTube? Favorite Doritos flavor's gotta be Chili Heat Wave, even though I don't really eat crisps or anything like that too often. And what inspired me to do YouTube was literally just watching other people, watching how they make videos, and I wanted to replicate that and do my own. Um, it's sort of like, you know when you get inspired by somebody else, it's like that kind of vibe that probably inspired me to do YouTube. Do a face reveal at 100,000 subscribers, that would be a great idea. It's quite funny because on my 100 days and 200 days videos, a lot of the comments that I see is, please do a face reveal. It's quite funny because a lot of people already know what I look like and I might show you guys what I look like towards the end of this video, but there's already a lot of people that know what I look like and what my, you know, IRL identity is, I suppose. Uh, because when I did YouTube, um, before I took all my private, like all my videos on this channel previously are privated, and some of them had face cam in. So a lot of my audience that have been with me right from the very beginning will know what I look like. Um, but yeah, I will share something at the end of this video. So don't be, don't be skipping ahead. There's a lot to get through. Where are you from? I'm from Manchester, England. Hope that answers your question. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, that's all. Doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Who is your favorite YouTuber? Oh, that's a very tough one. I'm not going to lie. I watch a lot of people. At the moment, I would say I'm really liking Mumble Jumbo's Hermitcraft uh, Season 7. I think at the moment, that's my favorite thing to watch. But besides from that, uh, I think Pixelriffs is a very good YouTuber. His Minecraft survival guide is amazing. For a Minecraft Let's Play, by the way, this guy on, on Bedrock, he makes the most chill Let's Play videos ever. I tried contacting him for a potential collab, and I think he just ignores me. But DallasMed65 is another one of my favorite YouTubers. I think his let's plays are just so chill to watch. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answers that question. When is your 300 days hardcore Minecraft coming out? So for that video currently as we speak, that video is finished, the recording process. It's just I've got to try and balance university editing and everything, you know, around that. Usually the editing takes like twice as long as the recording process and I've not fully started the editing process yet because I've literally just not had the time. Um, but it's going to come out as soon as I can get it out. 
I'm going to predict maybe a week and a half from when this video releases. So yeah, just letting you guys know. What is your goal for YouTube? 100,000 subscribers, which by the way, I picked this question again, even though I've already answered this for one simple reason. I want to thank you all so, so much for just even subscribing after my first couple of videos that went viral. Like I honestly cannot fathom the feeling and like, you know, my overall goal from when I first started was 100,000 subscribers. And it literally just felt like the last four or five years of me doing it, it was completely out of my reach. But the fact that we sat here right now, 8,000 or 7,000 subscribers away currently to 100,000 just blows my mind. So thank you all so much. Which games would you like to play other than Minecraft on this channel? For this channel specifically, I think I'm just going to stick to Minecraft because that's what you all subscribe for. But who knows, maybe in the future, I might make a second channel for other games. Who knows, I don't know what the future holds, but right now this channel is going to be strictly Minecraft and nothing else. I say nothing else, maybe when that, uh, what's it called, Hytale? Is it Hytale? Maybe when that comes out, I'll play this on this channel, but because it's similar to Minecraft, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, any other games that are completely different, like, you know, a, a lot of you have requested Fortnite, which I've stopped playing Fortnite. I played Fortnite right from the very get-go of that game releasing, and I've just got bored of it, so <laughs> please don't be asking for me to play Fortnite because it's not happening. What sort of videos do you enjoy the most? Very good question. I mean, the ones that I enjoyed the most has got to be when I used to do Let's Play videos on Minecraft specifically. Like, I had, like, uh, a complete Let's Play world. Uh, for those of you that are long-time subscribers of mine, you will recognize the name The Minecraft Venture. That nearly got to 100 episodes before I stopped it, so um, I kind of regret stopping that to be fair, but um, yeah, the, the enjoyable ones for me was probably the Let's Play ones, but if I was to ever start a Let's Play again, I would go about it a different way. I would use time lapses to my advantage because I never used to do that. It was literally just like hard cut Let's Play videos or I'd maybe cut a, a mining trip out or something or, you know, just something that would be very, very tedious for me to show. I would only cut those bits out and, you know, the whole process was enjoyable, but I mean, the content, the reason why those are privated as well, just to touch on that, is because, you know, I just, don't, I'm not proud of them. So I'd definitely go about that a different way, but 100% Let's Play videos are the ones that I enjoy. About how many times do you think you've gotten close to death on your 100 day series? Good question. Probably a, maybe two, two times, I think. From what I remember, uh, this is going off 100 and 200 days, but 300 days is a different story. And I'm going to leave that up to you to decide what you think happens. That is 100% a different story. Just, just wait and see. Do you have a girlfriend? Nope. Single as a Pringle. How many times have you died in a hardcore series when you wanted to record? Okay, so fun fact, my first 100 days is my second attempt at uh, surviving 100 days. Uh, if you notice in the intro of that video, you'll see me die in a cave when a creeper jumps on me. That is from my first attempt. So yeah, this world is my second attempt. What happened to your other videos before the 100 day challenge? I basically decided to revamp my entire channel only because I wanted to focus on one specific thing and that was to grow. I did four months worth of research beforehand on how to grow a channel and part of the process was me private in videos to just basically start and rebrand. That's basically why I, I did them and besides I wasn't proud of the stuff I put up you know in the past anyway. So in a way those are the two things like the reasons why I privated all my other videos. How old are you? I'm 24. What tips do you have for video creators to get a video viral? Okay, so I, if I was to give people tips on how to get a video viral, I would be sat here, no word of a lie, about six hours explaining all this stuff. My number one tip would be to research beforehand. So what I did before my 100 days video is I spent, no word of a lie, four months between university, obviously, four months researching how to do it myself. And I was looking at all the tips and all the algorithm and all those different bits and pieces. And I decided to do that because I saw Dream. I was looking into Dream's channel and I saw the way he blew up was he did the exact same thing where he would go away and research before he even started. And obviously it's worked out pretty well for him. So I decided to approach that in a similar way. And I basically once I researched and once I figured, I started reading the same things over and over and over again, I just decided to put it into practice and it, there is still somewhat of an element of luck and I was quite fortunate enough for that video to blow up the way it did, but definitely my number one tip would be to just go away and research the algorithm and stuff like that. How have you grown so fast on YouTube and what is your favorite type of animal? Well, I'm going to skip the first question you asked because I'd literally just answered that, but what is your favorite type of animal? Oh, good question. Um, I'm going to keep it Minecraft related. I'm going to say the dolphin. You know, you can't, you can't beat the dolphin in Minecraft, let's be honest. 
How do you keep up with your 100 days and stuff? I always lose motivation to play on a world. I'm not too sure if this question's asking how I track each day or how I, you know, come up with new ideas to play on a world, but I'll answer both. So, um, before and before starting and before I end each recording session, I always look at the F3 screen so I can track what day it starts, what day the recording ends. Um, so that's how I know the days um, and keep track of all the days and all that. Uh, but in terms of losing motivation to play on a world is literally Minecraft is a game where, you know, obviously apart from the basic survival rules, it's basically a free roam game to do what you want, when you want and how you want to do it. So it's literally just letting your creativity flow do literally what you want you could have like a world set and you can even create like a storyline and build buildings that match the storyline it's completely up to you you can do all sorts of different things in minecraft so yeah one thing i used to do that helped me actually was i used to go and watch people's world tours to get inspiration so always use that to your, your advantage as well there's tons of videos out there of other people's worlds uh, take hermitcraft as an example take you know even just someone solo let's play Take them as a good example, you know, use them as people to look up to and then just use them for inspiration to go do your own stuff. What is your reaction to becoming big so quick? Honestly, it's completely blown my mind. I'm not going to lie. Like I can just sit and look at the subscriber count now and just think, wow, you know, I'm nearly at six figures. Like that's insane. In terms of the, the pace of it, I remember like I was a bit late in starting my 200 days because I think the first week seeing that video blow up. I would just constantly read in the comments on that video. Like that's all I'd, I'd do. I'd read all the comments. I'd see the I'd see the video numbers go up. I'd be like, I'd wake up every morning and check. Oh, how what's the real time views on now? Is it took off again? And I, I was a bit late starting the 200 days in all fairness. But yeah, I was just sort of like shocked. If that's even a way to say it. Will you ever do speedrunners versus hunters? Yeah, I think I would do that at some point. But I'd want to do it with other YouTubers as well. Just because, you know, cross collaboration and stuff. You know, why not? But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a concept that I would love to get into at some point. I think making those videos would be very, very cool. What keeps you from being bored of Minecraft? I mean, for me, it's more of a creativity thing, like I said before. Um, I, I, I used to play a load of like shooter games and stuff, which obviously aren't child friendly. And my channel is now child friendly. Um, I used to play a lot of like Call of Duty and all that sort of stuff. And I just found like outside of gaming my mood wasn't just like it changed me as a person but now i'm like playing minecraft again you know it's doing you more positive things than it is negative things and also being able to play on the world for a long time is more of a for me it's more of like a bragging law look what i've managed to build in my survival world this took me x amount of hours i think it's that that helps <laughs> i can't really answer that question um I just love Minecraft. That's, yeah. Will you ever do a Minecraft Bedrock Edition video? Maybe some point in the future, but right now, probably not. Only because, yeah, I'm stuck on the beta for Minecraft Bedrock Edition and I can't get off it because I tried joining my friend's world um, and trying to get out of the beta and that's just a nightmare. So if anyone knows how to get out of the beta, I've tried everything under the sun. Please let me know. Um, but until then, probably not. Would you ever do Minecraft tutorials on farms, etc., or a normal Minecraft series? I'm planning on doing both, funnily enough. So, obviously, after my hardcore world's finished, that's going to be my plan, literally. I'm going to do more tutorial-based stuff. I'm going to do uh, a hardcore survival series, hopefully, at some point. I'm going to do a normal Minecraft survival series at some point. But I am waiting for Caves and Cliffs to come out before I do most of that, because a lot of things are going to change between now and then. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm literally just waiting for Minecraft 1.17 or the Caves and Cliffs update to release, to its full release, and then I'm gonna think about starting doing more of that sort of stuff, so yeah. Why you only choose Minecraft, not Fortnite? Love from India, because Minecraft is life. What special will you do on 100k subs? Please tell. Good question, I haven't actually planned that yet, um, which is why I decided to do a Q&A now, because I want your guys' like, feedback on what you think I should do. Let me know, I mean, like I said before, a face reveal is an idea for 100k subs for those that don't know what I look like. But it's already common knowledge what I look like. So <laughs> I don't know if that'll be kind of pointless. I want to do something bigger than that. But the idea that I have is, well, I don't really have an idea. It's just general ideas that I have. I have no idea if I should do them or not. So <laughs> please let me know. What would you do if Minecraft never existed? Um, good question. In terms of gaming right now, I don't know. I'd be very sad. Will you be doing a 100 days hardcore duo? I would love to do that, but currently I don't have anyone to do it with. So, uh, tag your favorite YouTuber on Twitter, send them this video. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to do it with maybe like Zetro or Fru or someone like that. That I think that would be pretty cool. What is your real name? My real name is Callum. 
I'm not telling you my last name, it's common knowledge anyway. Does the editing and that kind of thing ever stress you out? And if it does, why? Yeah, definitely, definitely does to some degree. I would say the, for example, these 100 days videos. So the footage for a whole video could last between 22 to 33 hours worth of footage, depending on how much I sleep in the world. So in terms of cutting down all the footage to all the stuff I need, it's quite stressful trying to like scan through all the footage and be like, shall I use this, shall I not? Will this make good content? It's like the whole thought process. And besides, I'm trying to do it in a timely manner because I'm at university as well. So I don't want you guys waiting like two months for a video. There's a lot to the edit. I think once I get past that, in that initial stage where I've cut all the bits out that I need, it's quite fun to do. It's just that initial part that's quite stressful. And that is going to do it for my 90,000 subscriber Q&A. Hopefully this was uh, somewhat interesting. Um, I've never really done anything like this for a long time. So, I mean, I appreciate you all that submitted questions. And yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. We're nearly at 100,000 subscribers, which I never thought I'd be saying that. It sounds crazy for me to say that. But yeah, in all seriousness, thank you all so much for the support. Like, you guys have made, like, one of my dreams come true. Like, literally, I've never been so close to 100k in my life. So... For me to be sat here right now, nearly at that figure, is absolutely mind-blowing. And honestly, it means, from the bottom of my heart, it means the world. So I really, really do appreciate all the support. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. And peace.